Hello and welcome back to another episode of PHT TV. Two weeks ago, Corey and I spoke with Fidelity Imports Eric Smith one more time to go over the new Q Acoustics line that PHT brought on board. This kicked off our dive into Q Acoustics. Following that, we jumped onto the 3000 series bookshelves in the 3010Is, the 3020Is, and the 3030Is. If you missed either of those episodes, make sure you check them out. As I mentioned in last week's episode, instead of breaking each product into their own videos, I thought I would cover several products in each episode. This week we'll be talking about a couple of the Q Acoustic Towers, the 3050i and the Concept 50. These are two different series Q has to offer, so seeing these guys side by side should answer some questions and hopefully tell you which one's better for you and which one's better for your home. So without further delay though, let's go ahead and get them out of their box and see what we're working with. And you'll want to take note of the side of the box that says open opposite side. So we'll flip this guy around and make sure we're getting it from the correct side here. This is our speaker foot here and our port plug, owner's manual. And as you'll notice, did open these upside down and the reason for that is so that we can go ahead and install the speaker feet before flipping it over. This is our back so we're going to put that on like that and then all of our accessories are in this little bag here. So we have our screw head here then we have our speaker spikes which actually screw into the feet there as well as the front here. And we are on carpets, but you actually have spike covers here. So if you are on a hardwood floor, you can pop those on and it will not scratch up your floor. And there is your accessories packet. Move that over here. In our little accessories bag here, we have our spike feet, we have our spike feet covers, we have our screws to screw on the leg, and then our spikes themselves. And the way that this speaker is set up, if you wanted to, it seems like it would stabilize it equally if you put this speaker foot in the front and the spikes in the back. Say if you're trying to shove in a corner and it won't fit, you probably do this backwards, but it is up to you. Primarily designed as such to where the leg goes in the back. Now, this one you are supposed to team lift, you are supposed to have a second person, However, I don't. So I'm just going to be extra careful, but I recommend when you guys do this at home, get a second person. It will make this significantly easier there. Now, in our accessories box, we're gonna start with our manual. Then we have our legs and all of our hardware. So first off, we will start with our leg here. It is quite heavy, which helps keep from tipping over there. So depending on which route you wanna go, you have either five speaker spikes speaker spike there or you have five little studs. So if you're putting on carpet, you could use the spikes. If you are putting on a hardwood floor, you can use the studs and it won't damage your floor. Now, as I mentioned, I am moving these from back and forth from carpet to hard floor and these are very sharp spikes. I don't want to scratch my floor. So I'm gonna be using the studs. Get this other one out of the box. Again, recommended to use two people. But I don't have two people, so here we are. And those. And again, we do have spike feet, but we are gonna go with these studs instead. So as to not harm the flooring. All right, without further delay. delay. 
There is your Q Acoustics 3050i. And here is your Q Acoustics Concept 50. Now that is with the grill on. Let's go ahead and take all these grills off to show you what is underneath. All right, so here they are side by side and out of the box. We have the 3050i and the Concept 50. Now, appearance wise, you can tell right away that they're gonna be completely different beasts. Essentially, we're looking at two completely different product tiers. The Concept line, at least from my perspective and my understanding, is designed to be the best of the best. All the awesome new tech that Q designs, they're gonna throw into the Concept series. The 3000 line is gonna be your more cost-effective line, bringing you into the Q Acoustics brand at a lower cost, while still maintaining a similar sound profile. What you'll find in most of this video, we're gonna be discussing the Concept line, as we went over a lot of the design elements of the 3000 series last week. All of the things that we covered in the bookshelves will also be applicable to the towers. Now, what I did find awesome though when researching these is that while they appear to be totally different beasts, you do see a lot of the same tech that was designed and implemented in the Concept series that kind of trickled down and ended up in the 3000 series as well. So on that note, let's go ahead and talk about some of the similarities before we dump into the differences. First off, they have point-to-point -point bracing, which is used in both to reduce cabinet-induced distortion. Essentially, this is identifying and applying bracing to very specific points inside of the cabinet. Next, they're both gonna utilize Hemholtz pressure equalization for base linearity. We could spend an entire episode devoted to this concept, but instead I'll tell you to go ahead and look it up yourselves, research it yourselves, check out Q's website as I'm sure they could explain this far better than I can. So go ahead and check that out and do some research on that yourself because it's pretty cool material. Additionally, they're both gonna be similar in size. Not exactly the same, but similar. The 3050i is 40.1 by 12.2 by 12.3. The Concept 50 is 40.4 by 16.5 by 12.6. The weight difference between the two is fairly significant, with the 3050i coming in at 39.2 pounds and the Concept 50 coming in at 50.5. That's a little over 10 pounds per speaker difference. Both have a similar setup with a tweeter sandwiched between two low frequency drivers, but the execution is completely different between the two speakers. So let's go ahead and dive into the differences now. First off, the driver differences. The base driver in the 3050i's are six and a half inch coated paper cone with rubber surrounds molded to the cabinet. This is the same as the 3000 series bookshelves discussed last week. The Concept 50 is a five inch driver, which is actually mounted on an aluminum baffle before it's mounted into the cabinet to give it a better seal and dampen the vibrations. On the high frequency end, the driver of the Concept 50 is also taken to the next level by being hermetically sealed and floating, isolating it from the baffle. Now, next I wanna talk about the isolation suspension system. The Concept 50 has its own sprung base plate. Essentially, this design is two separate base plates with something of a cushion in between to kinda of help remove interference from external vibrations. The crossover is also mounted to this base plate, which keeps it isolated as well, which keeps it away from the vibrations, as well as away from the magnetic influence of the drivers above. Basically, what we're looking at here is a system that gives each individual component its own stage to shine with minimal external influence. All right, that is your 3050i and Concept 50 out of the box. If any of you guys have these products at home, please leave us a comment below and let us know what you think. That's pretty much gonna be all that we're gonna talk about on these guys today, but we are not done with Q Acoustics. Next week, we're gonna jump back into Q Acoustics with the 3090 CI center channel and the B12 subwoofer. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button below to keep you up to date on new videos as they release. And we will see you again next week for another episode of PHT TV. Make sure you check those out. Hey guys, we should always read. This right here says open opposite side. So I'm gonna go ahead and tape this guy back up.
And the worst part of it all is, I never learned to read. Do 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 do